Hey everyone, Kyle Prolux here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to change the filters on a Prolux CV12000 central vacuum. So stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we need to do is remove the actual vacuum from the dirt bin. So on both the right and left side, you're going to have these metal latches. Go ahead and unlatch that, and then remove the top part of the vacuum off the dirt bin. And then go ahead and set that dirt bin aside. All right, so here is the internals of the CV12000. Here's going to be the cloth filter. Um, you're going to have a red tab on each side. Go ahead and grab that red tab and carefully pull the filter out. There is a metal band inside the filter that fits in this groove. Um, if you're not careful, it'll snap and pinch your fingers. So that's how you move the cloth filter. For the HEP filter, you're gonna have this screw on nut. Remove that and then you can pull the filter out. Once you have the filters out, go ahead and get your replacement. And we're gonna start with the HEPA filter. There's this hole. The motor shaft needs to go through this hole. Once you got the filter in, go ahead and grab the screw on nut. Once you have the nut on, um, just kind of give the filter a wiggle to make sure it's securely in place, which this is. And then we're going to do the cloth filter. This one is kind of tricky. So what you want to do is you're going to grab the filter and you're going to try to bend it like this. And you want to make sure when you install it, you only see the white part. If you see the gray part, you have it in upside down. So what you're going to do is kind of just put it in that groove. All right, so I got half of it in the groove. So. Okay, so now it's in place. So pretty much all you need to do is bend the filter, kind of like a U, and get half of the filter started in the groove, and then you can kind of slowly release it and it'll snap into place. Once you have both filters replaced, you're going to want to just reattach it to the dirt bin. Let's so go ahead and grab the dirt bin that you set aside earlier and pick up the actual vacuum portion. You're gonna set it on top of the dirt bin, making sure that it is seated properly. And then you're just going to latch both the left and right side of the dirt bin to the vacuum. And that's how you replace both filters on a CV12000 central vacuum. All right, that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys found it helpful. If you have any questions or need any extra assistance, you can email us at service at proxcleaners.com or you can leave a comment down in the comment section below. If you need replacement parts or filters for your Prolux Central Vacuum, go ahead and check out the links in the description below and those links will take you directly to our website where you can buy replacement filters.